Hey guys, so I finally moved back to New York City and after months of searching for an apartment, I found the right fit. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys some renter-friendly DIYs and some creative ways to maximize your storage. So stay tuned and let me know what you guys think. So I started off with the entryway and I decided to add black contact paper, not paint because it's going to be kind of a headache when you move out to paint it back and this just gives it more character. Okay, so today I'm working on putting together the console table. It's going to go right underneath the mirror and then I'm going to have that breakfast nook removed um, and just put some like decor and stuff on top to stage it. So I was very pleasantly surprised at how much I like this cabinet from Wayfair. So I just put that together and hung up the mirror above that. The air bubbles that you guys see in the contact paper, that's removed as well. And this is how it came out. So the entryway is done. The accent wall we're still working on. And then on the other side here, that full length mirror is mounted. And I did add that black contact paper behind it as well. So the theme throughout the apartment is black, ivory, gold, and touches of green. And I'll link everything in the description. So you guys will see, this was like my vision board and this is real life. So it's almost identical. So when I moved into my New York City apartment, I did a virtual tour. Um, so I didn't actually see it prior to applying and moving in. I'm overall really happy. Actually, I freaking love the apartment, but I realized there wasn't as much storage, particularly in the bathroom as I hoped for or expected. So it's fine. I just have to find a way to sort of work around that. So what I utilized in the bathroom, I wanted more storage, but I didn't want to compromise the really modern, clean, sleek look. So I use a lot of acrylic and glass in the bathroom. Um, I'll show you guys each section of what I did. So these are the 32 inch acrylic shelves and this is the mounting tape. Extremely durable. I'm going to take it from one end to the other and put it on the wall, hold for about five seconds. So this tape, if you guys look at the reviews, someone literally hung up a TV with this tape. Um, it's extremely durable, you, you guys can see. I'm not going to put anything too heavy on there. So I'm just going to put small, lighter items like cotton balls, ear swabs, hand sanitizers. It's really for display if I'm being honest. Very hotel vibes. <laughs> and then underneath, I actually purchased a storage unit from home goods and that's where I'm going to put the heavier items so you'll see I utilize acrylic drawers um, you know containers and I also made the labels myself to keep it organized so what I'm doing now is putting all the soaps and lotions into these glass containers I bought this from home goods which I love it's so nice and then these I bought from Marshalls so once I put the label on and filled it up with this uh, soap, this is what it looks like. So starting off by the sink, I used the double-sided tape to install these three acrylic shelves. And that's where I keep, you know, my toothbrush, water pick, and like hand towels. And the reflection from the mirror, you can see in the shower. And I pretty much just installed these two glass shelves using a glue. 
and I put my shampoo, conditioner, and body wash into these dispensers. Then you guys will see on the other side of the bathroom are some more acrylic shelves. So I don't put anything too heavy on these shelves. I keep like, you know, toilet paper, some makeup, hand sanitizer. I also keep, you know, cotton balls and ear swabs in here. So the heavier items I put down here on the shelf, which I purchased from Home Goods, and I organized all my things into these clear acrylic drawers, and I made the labels just so, you know, I know what's inside. So, slides in and out. And then for the vanity, I don't keep too much in here. I like to keep it just neat, not too crowded. But I have like my face stuff. And in the drawers, I just use these acrylic shelves to organize makeup, hair products, and um, my hair tools. So I'm gonna show you guys how I arrange and organize my fridge. I'll show you guys where I bought everything and the best ways to organize and maximize storage in your fridge. What I'm gonna do now is just take all like the food and stuff and put them into the glass containers. So like put my waters in here, cut up all the fruits and vegetables and put them in the glass containers as well. So I know this part is super extra, but guys, this makes me happy. Like, <laughs> this genuinely brings me so much joy to see things neat, organized, just, uh, I don't know. So anyways, I made these labels for the plastic containers myself because they're very specific items. And the spice jars, which I ordered from Amazon, they came with two different options for labels. So that's easier for me. So I'm just going to attach those. And as far as making your own labels, I'm going to upload a separate video on how to do that. It's really easy. All you need to do is order um, the paper from Amazon. And you need a printer. So yeah, I'm going to take this, put them on the containers, fill them up, and then put them in the cabinet. And then I'm just going to take all the spices, fill these up, label them, and I'm actually going to put these in the drawer um, once I put all this together. And they're just going to like stack and layer up.
this part here is pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna remove the backing of the contact paper and then use this. You can use a credit card or whatever to, to like smooth it out as I um, you know, put it on the wall. And then any cuts or whatever I have to make, I'm just gonna use one of these blades um, and then do it that way. So I'll show you guys now. Okay, so right now everything is a chocolate wood finish, which I don't like, and I don't like seeing the little holes on the shelves. So I'm gonna cover it with one of these contact papers. I'm leaning towards the black marble. What do you guys think? So what I'm doing here is also completely unnecessary, but you know, whatever. Instead of just keeping shoes at the, you know, underneath the shelves, I wanted to add a little bit more storage. So I put things like, you know, undergarments, socks, whatever, in these acrylic drawers. So first they were just kind of like this. And then I said, you know what? Just so it has a little bit more of like the built in look, I said, let me just use the same contact paper I used cover you know the actual shelves and let me just cover the front now that seems or can seem a little counterintuitive because you'd want to see what's inside of the drawers but for me this is for me I know what's inside of each drawer so I don't need that I rather you know like that built-in that built-in look so what I'm doing I just measured out the pieces cut I'm going to peel the back off and then just simply stick right onto the drawer. So there, there's this extra space um, on the left side of my closet. And I have this shelf sort of sitting around, it's a three tier shelf. And I figured I'll just put it there, you know, so add some extra, you know, um, storage. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm just taking the black marble contact paper and I'm putting it on top of the white marble. So it came in white. But I'm doing this just so that it can, again, match with everything in the closet and have that built in look. I'm just gonna cut the excess off and put it inside and I'll show you guys how that looks. Guys, I am very happy with how that came out. This is the same marble shelf that we just covered. And it looks almost as if, I should put this back. It looks almost as if it's part of the closet. Like they don't align perfectly, but it's almost as if these are, you know, built in shelves which is exactly what i was going for 